Hey, thanks for jumping on with us here on YouTube. And Wendy and I are talking about the latest and greatest questions that we hear around church life and around uh, Christian friends. And one of the things that comes up pretty regular nowadays is Bible translations. Uh -huh. What's the best translation? Can you trust all translations? You know, what do you read? So I teach mostly from New King James just because I believe it offers the best style and the best opportunity for bringing teaching truth. But New International's great, and a lot of, te yeah. lot of people teach out of the New International. The Amplified Bible's great. And then there are paraphrases. These are Bible translations or paraphrases mm -hmm. that a man has written in his style. So the Message Bible, um, what's the new one called? Passion. The Passion Bible. Passion. These are paraphrases. Now, I would say in general, they're great. Uh -huh. Read them. Right. Read something. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So if you're going to, you know, if you love it, read it. And if you start debating theological, sometimes when it comes to the Holy Spirit, uh -huh. gifts of the Spirit, praying in other tongues, it might not be real accurate, but that's probably not a problem but for it most gives of a, our readers. Right. And it gives a very, it gives a great picture and it uses terms sometimes that you can really understand the different um, translations and the different kind of interpretations of it. So the big deal is, is read your Bible. Yeah, read like, your Bible. That's probably the biggest deal that we would love to encourage all of us is that we get into somewhat of a Bible plan. And with having all your apps, man, you can just download mm. a Bible and it's you know free and you just can download the different kinds. Yeah, you can just download and get different kinds of translations. But one of the things that I try to help us to understand in reading your Bible is that if you find a scripture and it's kind of like, uh, wait, what does this mean? And you kind of take one scripture and you kind of think, oh, this is what the Bible means. I'm like, ooh, stop. Before you take one scripture and kind of live your whole life on it, you have to understand that the Bible has patterns. Literally from Genesis to Revelation, the Bible is written in patterns. So if you only find one scripture that begins to talk about something, that's not a pattern. That's kind of something that's obscure, but I wouldn't live my life on that. There is a scripture that said the baptism of the dead. Yeah. What does that mean? That's I'm it. not going to start baptizing dead people. Yeah. Yeah. So good stuff. Read your Bible, mm -hmm. whatever translation you love. You'll read, you'll hear about theologians and some Christians who don't like certain things about certain translations. Probably the least of your worry. Like Wendy said, the main part is, let's read our Bible. Hey, before I go, make sure and send me your question. Love to hear it and love to get an answer back to you.